Hi, I'm Terry Ringy with AV Showrooms, here with Peter Gruninger to introduce AV Showrooms Products of the Year 2016. Yeah, it's great to be here this year, viewers. Uh, we've had a fantastic year of some of the best products I've ever heard in audio. Yeah, I yeah. agree with yeah. that. I'm yeah. glad we're here to share that with you. Yeah, so uh, let's kick it right off. Um, we're going to do, a, as we always do, an audio file of the year. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. We're going to save that for last. <laughs> so that's, that's the dessert. That's the dessert. <laughs> uh, let's start off with what to me are outstanding, an outstanding product introduction, and that's a Triangle Art Electronics. Mm. They're called the Triangle Art Reference Preamplifier, mm -hmm. the Triangle Art Reference Phono Stage, and the Triangle Art Reference Amplifiers. Mm -hmm. The monoblock amplifiers are, uh, you'll see it in the review that's coming up, they put out 160 watts per channel. Uh, they're just uh, superb electronics. And uh, Carl Marchichetto from NOLA was over. What did Carl say, Terry? Carl was, uh, he kept saying how outstanding these are, and he's one of the uh, leading engineers in high performance audio, uh, one of the stars of the show. Yeah. And uh, he came twice with his family, and mm -hmm. he, again he had to comment on how wonderful these electronics are, and he has the ears. So it's not just Peter and me getting this impression, it's yeah. somebody who really knows his sound and yeah. his stuff. Yeah, I agree. It's uh, uh, Everybody who's heard these electronics has been impressed. Uh, they're in the affordable range, uh, you'll see in the review, and uh, you'll hear uh, when we do our uh, audio demonstration just how good and refined these electronics are. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's shocking. They're coming from a man who's, this is his first go at, at uh, rolling out his own line of electronics. Yeah. It's, it's his signature, though. He's an artist, Tom Boo. Yeah, he is. He's more than just an engineer. His, yeah. his turntables are like art. The sound is very musical. And it's just, there's a signature there with the, the electronics. Yeah, yeah. But this reached a level of refinement that was uh, startling uh, yeah. to me. Yeah, very, very good. Very Speaking good. of a level of refinement, mm -hmm. um, what do we have upstairs in the well, as a phono have, stage? We have the Tube Guru phono stage with the uh, Kronos limited edition turntable. Yeah. And what a match. Yeah. If anyone is in the market for it to look at a tube phono stage, please take a look at this very exotic piece imported by Beauty of Sound, Bill DeMars, in Albany, New York, from Hungary, right? Yeah, it's from Budapest. And uh, the phono stage also is a line stage. We've been using it right. back and forth as both. Uh, it's a... Uh, it, it, it just, it, it's hitting uh, well above and punches well above its class. It does everything good that you like from, if you're a tube person, you like to get from tubes yeah. without some of the, the off points, like a scratchiness sometimes you get from, I, I hear in tube. Well, noise you get, noise. sometimes you get yeah. noise, yeah. But a, this, is, yeah. this is exceptional, it's like very exotic, um, it's, it's, and if you're a two person, you love to look at it too. It's 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 worth taking a look at. It. Yeah, it's a, a holographic imaging uh, ticks off all the boxes that the tubes deliver. Mm -hmm. uh, for I love having a tube phono stage. Uh, I always was of of the mindset that I liked uh, and preferred solid state for my phono stages because of the quietness. Uh, but I'm able to get this phono stage uh, with the Opus One cartridge, which is a 0.3 mm -hmm. millivolt cartridge. Uh, output cartridge, an outstanding one of the best, if not the best cartridges on the market today, uh, matches perfectly with the Tube Guru, um, mm -hmm. which uh, really leads us into the Kronos setup. I mean, we have with the Kronos, and we just put a clip up, the SCPS, which one. is, yeah, one, which, which is, is the super ca capacitor power supply one. And that matches with the Kronos. Mm -hmm and drop the noise floor in our system considerably. Oh yeah, and it, it made the sound stage a lot bigger. It wrapped the sound around the room even a wider sound with more depth of sound coming in from the back or the front of the, the, the system t toward me. Mm -hmm. It was there was more layering. Mm -hmm. It was it was almost immediate and then it, it didn't take very long to break in. This is a brand new model. Yeah, brand new. And we've been playing it a lot, but still, breaking time was what only a couple of weeks to really. Well, really not even that. I thought it came. I thought as soon as we dropped in, I heard the difference immediately. Yeah, but it, it took a better. couple of days though. And it you can. Better. We put a video up last week, and we did a test: an A versus B, mm -hmm. with an in versus out. And people have commented on that video, even over cheap computer speakers, that they can hear the difference immediately. I mean, it's wow. Yeah. 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 So. 
so. Yeah, so talk, and uh, you know, again, wrap around. Speaking of wraparound, we had some very interesting little speakers in here this year. Yeah. Oh, the Brio Trios or the Brio Quattros from NOLA. The Brio Trios has one subwoofer and the Quattro has two. Uh, these are the, one of the best products I've seen at the show since they, they debuted in CES mm -hmm. this year. Uh, it doesn't matter where you sit in the room, there is pinpoint imaging, there is uh, openness of sound and, and I'll tell you I if I go to a room in the show and if I go into a room at the show and they have subwoofers I immediately don't want to stay in that room I, and maybe it's just a, a prejudice on my part or it's but I always feel that there's a disconnect with the bass when the subwoofers are separate not so with the Brio trios this is the first time I've heard a subwoofer outside of this loudspeaker that sounded integrated perfectly uh, this, this, you put on a, a jazz record, you put on a classical music, you put on your, your favorite blues records, the Brio Trio will play them. This is one of the most outstanding uh, loudspeakers that I've heard of any size. And I, I like them so much, I bought them for my office. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I, I will stand behind these speakers as, as far as their quality of sound. $5,000 for the quads. Uh, I mean, you cannot beat that in this marketplace today. That's for the today. two subs. Yeah. That's for, with the two quattro. subs. Yeah, yeah. For the quattro. So I think it's one of Carl Marshall Soto's, one of his best speakers ever. I think it's, yeah. I, think, I, I think it might be his masterpiece. I think so. Yeah. I yeah. think so. Yeah. Very I mean, you surely sure. get, uh, when you move up the NOLA line, you get bigger sound of stages. You, do. you get a big, more powerful, shaking the, the room sound. But these leave nothing on the table. These are just fantastic spe speakers. And uh, again, this is high end audio uh, for $5,000. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, talk about wraparound imaging and talk about magic. We have what I think is the best analog system available today. Now I'm saying system that is phono stage, uh, the turntable, uh, all, all, the, the wiring, all made by audio, audio note. note. Now this is the top level audio note system. This is a, a, a really, this is for the very, very well to do audiophile or for the audiophile who demands the best. Demands the very best. Yep demands the best. It's a yes, turntable. Yeah, the turntable has three motors. Each motor has its own power supply. Lots of boxes. Lots of boxes. Lots <laughs> of power supply boxes. Uh, the RIAA9 phono stage, mm -hmm. uh, it, costs, uh, it costs more than a Mercedes S-Class, the phono stage itself. So this is, this is unique special audio, uh, unique special audio components Again, for those who demand the best, and what do they do, Terry? What does that analog system do? Well, we were listening to Leonard Cohen the other night, and mm -hmm. it put Leonard Cohen right in the middle of our room in front of us. I've never heard anything like it. And that's what you would expect at these price points. And this is the Beluga Caviar. This is the, the finest car that you can possibly buy. This is for the most discerning, wealthy audiophile who only will have the very best in their home. Yeah, I agree with that. I think it is the best analog system that I've ever heard. The Kronos is the best turntable, but this, this is the is best correct. system. We both agree yeah. on that because yeah. we go back yeah. and forth with our yeah. favorite albums. From yeah. Kronos to the yeah. audio note. Yeah. Kronos to the audio note. Yeah, yeah we're very blessed uh, at AV showrooms uh, uh, because of the popularity of our videos. Uh, everybody wants to have their top level equipment. Uh, for us to listen to and to report upon and uh, we have the best analog systems available in the world today than any other re reviewer does so yeah. we're uh, we're but we're <laughs> I tell you what folks it's a tough job but someone's got to do it right yeah it's, it's I love it okay and that leads us to the loudspeaker of the year yeah for the first time maybe showrooms is going to bestow a loudspeaker of the year award and it's well deserved it's going to uh, Rido for the D4.1s. And the D4.1 loudspeaker is the second from the top of the Rido mm -hmm. line, but it's more room friendly for uh, average size listening rooms. Yes, our, it is. Yeah, our room is 
Okay, we are, you know, we're, this is not, we don't, we do not live in a mansion. Uh, we live in uh, a normal sized home with normal listening rooms like a lot of Europeans do, a lot of uh, Asians uh, mm -hmm. do. We don't, we don't have cavernous 20 by 30 by 10 listening rooms mm -hmm. like our favorite reviewer Mike Malinowski does. Uh, the Rido D4.1s are right sized for this room. This room is uh, 13 by 23. Yeah, very right sized. Very right sized. And I'll tell you what, the imaging is holographic. The sound staging is layered. Uh, the detail retrieval is uh, extraordinary. Yeah, that's yeah. that's for sure about the detail. Yeah. We uh, listened to these very speakers at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest this year. And I walked into the room and they were playing uh, Dead Can Dance's album and Lisa Gerard was not just in the room she was her voice was the room I mean, yeah. the only way I could put it I wrote that yeah. on the sidebar yeah very special it was unbelievable so I was very excited about getting them to our home and we put them in and we started playing them in our different favorite tracks and they really deliver a very detailed sound and it's I would describe these speakers as extremely dynamic and full of energy. They really energize the room. That's, a, that's well put. And that's what a high-end uh, loudspeaker at this uh, price level should do. Mm -hmm. uh, these are under $150,000, so they're not inexpensive. Uh, they are. They perform at, at or above uh, the uh, what I, I've heard at the major hi-fi shows, like in Munich, yeah. uh, for the price point. Uh, again, uh, congratulations to the designer Michael Borison uh, from yes. Rido, who has integrated the tweeter in with the mid-range units. Uh, it amazingly so. So and he this, keeps improving. Yeah, he's, and he's uh, another one that never yep, stops improving yep, on his work. Yep, he's uh, he's Very one. Impressive. Of, yep, he's one of our gifts, uh, gifted at most gifted engineers, speaker designers in the world today, if not the most gifted. He really is extraordinary. Uh, and they're Michael. beautiful to look yeah. at. Yeah, and as, as you and can that's see, important to yeah, me too. they sure, surely are beauties. Mm -hmm. Well, that leads us to the my most fun part of uh, uh, <laughs> products of the year, which is audiophile of the year. 2016. Yep, and audiophile of the year for 2016 is J. B. Lawrence from Long Island, and J. B.'s dad and my dad shared something. Guess what that was? The Fisher 500? That's right. Because you gave me one. That's right. And I call that love, Peter. Yep. <laughs> My dad then traded his in on a, on a solid state fisher, and I didn't think it sounded as good as the old 500s uh, C. Uh, but anyway, uh, JB started off uh, as, a, as a young man listening to his father's fisher, as I did too. And uh, he grew, his audio passion grew, and he's gone through multitudes of equipment like I have and you have too. And uh, he founded the Long Island Audio Society. Yes, he did. And he has a huge following, and he's a great guy who's enthusiastic about promoting the enjoyment of music That's and audio. That's right. beautiful audio room. I, I've seen it on, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he has more than one room. Has, Actually, he has five audio systems. Oh, in, in okay. His home. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Very, very nice looking. He's, yeah. very, he's dedicated and committed. He puts a lot of time into this to bring enjoyment to other people. Yeah. And that's part of how you become audio of file the of the year. It's by sharing and organizing mm -hmm. and getting the word out to people about the love of music that's correct. and fine audio equipment. So congratulations, JB. Yeah, congratulations. He really earned it. Um, as an aside, he also is a, is a fan of uh, the Munsters TV show. Yeah, he yeah. runs their fan book. And he runs Facebook their fan book page. on Facebook. He's very multi talented and a great guy. We urge you to. Uh, Check out uh, the, uh, the Long Island Audio Society and attend their meetings if you're anywhere in the tri-state area. Or friend them on Facebook. Yep, there you go. Well, Terry, this was a great product of the year uh, for us. I mean, we've had oh, yeah. the best, I believe, audio system uh, that money can buy, the Audio Note Level 5 system. We're in the middle of the, uh, reviewing the different chapters of that. And uh, that has just brought us so much pleasure. And having the Rido D4.1s, uh, the Brios, mm -hmm. the, uh, we have the Acoustic Zen Crescendos coming up next for review. Mm -hmm. uh, these audio components are all best in their class, and it's truly an honor and a privilege uh, to bring these products to you through, uh, through video and uh, through our shows. So, yep. yep. Okay. Okay, so until 2000, have a great 2017 coming up next year. Enjoy the holidays and 
uh, Peter Bruninger reporting for? AV Showrooms. Terry Arinci reporting for AV Showrooms. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll see you for product of the year in a year. Bye.